Hello everyone and welcome back to Joy's Creative Finger. This is our Let's Play The Sims Mobile episode 34 and guess what? My 100 baby challenge has failed. Yes, yes, yes. Calm down, calm down. Well, give me a chance to explain. Problem number one. I expected to have at least 100 babies running around the house but in the game, you can only have 12 sims in a household. That became a limitation. Problem number two. When I retire a sim, I expected that they would all end up in this generation. And at the very least, I would be able to keep tabs on how many babies my dear, fabulous and gorgeous Pekin has had. But every time I do the retirement process, the sims here remain 12 and one of them disappears and I'm not able to tell which one's gone but it sticks at 12. Problem number three. If I go ahead with the challenge there will be no authentic way of proving that I did have 100 babies for you all to see. It's not documented here in this generation and it's not documented in the household by counting out 100 babies equals no possible authentic way of doing the 100 baby challenge because I could just tell lies and say well I had three babies last week and I had four last week and I had five the other week and just one day log on and say the 100 baby challenge is complete but no I'm not going to do that so I'm changing everything over I'm moving all the sims out and I'm keeping my household down to the four playable sims that I usually have and I'm going to turn my game around and begin to really play with them and create stories with them. How about that? <laughs> well, there. I feel so much better that the household is now empty and I can begin to start a normal life. Can you imagine what it would be like having a household full of 12 people that you have no relationships with? I don't know if that's something that is a good idea. So definitely Hazily Brown is going to be retired but not now. She will eventually be replaced by a son. Okay. The other thing is it wasn't really a hundred baby challenge because they weren't babies and they're still here. They're adults. There was like a hundred adult challenge <laughs> because you have to grow them up and then you could retire them and make some more babies. So it just didn't work. The way the game is structured is such that you couldn't have a hundred babies in the house. I wanted a hundred babies, but it, it didn't work out. So here they are all leaving just in time. That's great. It was nice to know you. Uh, not really, but take care and make sure you didn't forget anything. Don't come back for a shoe, a handbag, a yoga mat. I don't know. Just go. Bye. <laughs> I should hope that the house is empty uh, at this point. I'm sure I only saw about four or five sims leave, but maybe the other ones left while I was still in the screen discussing their departure. <laughs> so there's no one here that I can see. Oh gosh, I hope you're not seeing someone and I'm not, <laughs> and then you're yelling at the screen, but the house looks empty to me. Now we're going over to the family's workplace. All four of them work here at the waterfront. My fairy is an astronaut. I feel that she you know, flutters away into space, <laughs> something like that. Um, and I have Icon, who is Pekin's husband, working as the mad scientist. He's at level 10. He is, oh gosh, I don't want this. It's not a surprising choice. It's an annoying, uh, frustrating, pressure-filled choice. I'm just gonna steal from the boss um, because I don't have cupcakes or cash to give anyone. And I don't want to have no other option but to have you know, my sim sad or vomiting or sick or something like that. Is she, is she ill? I don't even know what I clicked on. Oh, but never mind. She's probably going to be angry or suffer shame and disgrace. I don't, I don't think that's the right way to get us to do stuff. I just don't. But Pecan's done. And hopefully I will never click on retire. All this while that I've had a full household just to secure that I don't retire them by accident. I've never clicked on them by accident. So I'm hoping I can do this. Uh, this is Hazely, who's the dance instructor at level nine. She has to get to level 10 and then I'll retire her uh, and then 
give the family a son. So they have a fairy for a daughter and a son would have been great as a gnome or something. <laughs> I would have then turned my whole house into fairyland or fairytopia or something like that. Anyway, I don't want my thoughts to run away with me. I'm bringing everyone home. Now that the household is empty, uh, there's no more drains on their resources. Uh, I just want them all home to just hang out and breathe. They're always working to support eight sims. Well, 12, including them. Uh, and that's not okay. So here they are. I have now reduced my family. And I'm going to start playing with them differently. Try to create little stories. If you have any ideas, let me know in the comments down below what you would like to see. And of course, I can and Pekin can always go ahead and have children. And I can use them for one thing or the other. Retire them regardless. Um, so maybe I wanted a story with a toddler in it. Then I'll create a child and have the child become a toddler. If I wanted a baby, then I'll do a baby. If I wanted a kid, we'll do a kid. So I'm, I'm going to see if I can make little stories, just little stories. See what I can do with the story menu that we have going on in the game uh, and, and, and see how that goes. I just really want to play. I'm exhausted with tasking. <laughs> So here's the family, and here's Hazley, who won't be with us very long, because she'll soon be at level 10. And then I'm just going to go right ahead and complete the family with a son. So that's hopefully just one more baby that um, Pekin has to give us. I feel so sorry for her. She's had so many kids. She looks beat, exhausted. Look at the tired. Oh, girl, but you look good for a mum of, what, 38 sims so far? Hmm. <laughs> now, you might be wondering, what am I going to do for heirlooms? Well, the way the game has worked out, it does appear to me that it's much easier to buy your heirlooms. Let me just collect this. See, because we get these tickets all the time. Um, and as long as they store up, you can go ahead and purchase an heirloom of your choice. I could buy any heirloom here if I wanted to. I'm not really keen on it. I don't really see the heirloom causing my sims to behave any different. It's just not much of a um, allure for me to want to, you know, create sims and retire them for these heirlooms. These heirlooms, we work so hard for them and I don't really sort of see them doing anything miraculous uh this is here for 19 pounds and 99 pence <laughs> it's laughable no <laughs> 800 cash is what you'll get alongside that uh this dress baba voom panel dress we've got this sort of short jumpsuit sort of thing um the necklace the earrings are good the shoe the hair is it's nice. I, I have the other girl's hair with the braids. I prefer that. Um, and then you've got the shirt and the trousers and the shoe. <laughs> and then this has been here since I started uh, playing the game. So the most important thing is look out for the stories to come on Sims Mobile. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.